How to set up the calendar via the wizard. Go to Admin Integration HTML and click on the link to take you to the calendar wizard. Enter a name for your calendar. The name of your calendar can be whatever you like. The reason for entering a name is so that you can identify each calendar if you decide to create lots of different styles. Choose your site ID, which is what is already set up in your SuperControl account. Enter a URL for your calendar. This should be your website address. This URL is used when the booking process is abandoned at any stage by the guest, it will revert them back to this calendar URL. Next, select Calendar Type. Predefined means that you can choose from a small catalog of calendar colors to choose from. Customized means that you can select your own selection of colors and set your availability day shapes. You can easily see a preview of your creation by clicking here. Once you have your design finalized, click Save. In order to create an inviting calendar, you should use colors that complement your website's color scheme. Avoid using too many colors. The concept is to ensure your available days draw your guests' attention. When embedding these new calendars on your website, ensure that you have discussed with your web developer or taken into consideration the removal of the existing calendars. This is to ensure that you don't have two different calendar versions on your website at the same time. Next, you can start building how the calendar displays. Select your desktop behavior. Do you prefer a grid view or a monthly calendar? You can easily see previews of how each one will look. If this calendar should only show for a single property, tick this box and select the property it is for. The code to embed on your website will display in this window. To send your web developer a copy of this code so they can embed it into your website, select Send Code in Email, and it will generate the body of the email with the information your web developer needs.